In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a realistic background bokeh effect in Photopea. At the end of the video, I will also show you how to composite a background and make it look legit in a couple of simple steps. I also have this tutorial for mobile devices, so be sure to check that out from the card above or link in the description if you're on mobile. Okay, so first, import your image into Photopea. I'll be using this unedited photo I found from Unsplash, which was very hard to find. <laughs> I challenge you to find an unedited photo in Unsplash in less than 10 minutes. If you succeed, tweet me at TV. Trust me, it is really hard to find. Link to this image and everything will be in the description. Once it's imported, we're going to separate our background from the foreground. You can use the built-in tools for this like the pen tool, selection tool, etc. There are a bunch of ways to do this, but for this tutorial, I'm going to keep things simple and use PixelR instead because it's free and lets you download your image in full resolution. Not sponsored by the way, but if PixelR is watching this, my inbox is open, shoot me an email, please. In PixelR, just drag and drop your photo and it should do a fairly good job at removing your background. We're not going to do any refinements here, so just click download to download this in PNG. Then click invert to invert your selection and download just the background. Now we have two separate images we can use. Drag and drop background first into a new document since we didn't do our selection inside Photopea. If you did it in Photopea, make sure your background and foreground are on their own separate layers. Now if you apply lens blur to this layer without any changes, you will notice this weird halo effect that it's making around our subject. That's because there are no pixel information in that area. If our background layer wasn't on a separate layer, you'd notice it happening in that case as well because our foreground subject is also getting blurred, resulting in this weird halo effect. To remove the halo effect, duplicate your background layer by hitting Ctrl J, then select the clone tool. Hide your foreground layer and just clone around the area where your foreground subject will be. Set your brush hardness to zero for a softer brush edge. You don't have to be very accurate because afterwards we will be blurring it anyway. Just make sure you don't make any drastic changes like this because that will be visible even if you blur it. You also don't have to fill in the entire background because it will be obscured by our foreground subject anyway. Alright, I think that looks good enough. Let's convert this layer into a smart object so we can make changes to it later if we want to. Then go to filter, blur, lens blur. Not Gaussian blur because that's cringe. Who the hell uses Gaussian blur? That sucks. Adjust blur settings to your liking, I'm just keeping it relatively normal. And then hit OK when you're done. Now using a similar technique, let me now show you how you can replace your background and make it look realistic. Before I do, I would like to show you this graph. Not even half of you are subscribed to the channel. So be sure to subscribe if you're new because I'll be making more photo tutorials in the future and you don't want to miss them. Alright, so first let's delete our background layer and import in another one that fits well with our foreground. You need to keep two things in mind when looking for a replacement background. Number one is the light needs to match. If your foreground subject has hard shadows like in this case, you need to look for an image where the sun is at the right angle making hard shadows. I just know, I, I just noticed it says Lex Sex on that rock. Is Sex an actual last name people have? I'm, I'm not even judging, like I, I'll be surprised and amazed if it actually is. Anyway, number two camera angle needs to match. Our subject in this case was shot at the shoulder angle, so we're going to try and find an image that was also shot at shoulder angle. It may be hard to find, but uh, if you look hard enough, you might be able to find something relatively close. That way it looks more authentic. Now let's create a black and white adjustment layer. This adjustment layer will help us match contrast with our background. Here I'm looking at the darkest areas in both photos. Those will be the top of the rock there in the background and the shirt area here on the foreground. You can see that the shirt area here is way more darker compared to that rock over there. So to match contrast, we're going to create a curve adjustment layer. Bring it over the foreground layer, hold down Alt key and click on the curve layer to clip it so it only affects our foreground layer. Then we're going to create three points for shadows, midtones, and highlights. Let's first bring our darkest point up to try and match it. I think right there is good. Let's also bring the mids up a little bit so we get some more details there as well. I don't think highlights needs to be changed, so I'll just leave it as it is. To match colors with the background, we'll play with red, green, and blue curves. Curves can be very confusing for some people, so just try to eyeball it and just move things up and down. Here you don't have to be extremely accurate, I mean if you want to go like a step further you can create a red layer, make a luminosity and then just try to match that but that's just way too much work so I'm just gonna keep it simple here, not explain that part, uh, you just, just eyeball it, it should work fine. To see before and after you can see the drastic difference we did to the image, like it, it doesn't even look like the same image anymore. Like I said before, I will be making more photo tutorials in the future, so be sure to subscribe and check out my other photo editing tutorials by clicking in the card above. 
Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Increase size. No, okay. Can I go dark matter? Let me get dark matter. Where's the dark matter?